Welcome to the series of interviews that I recently conducted with an elder and a spiritual leader in our local community here in New Mexico. His name is Patricio Dominguez. Enjoy it. Um, what are some of the detriments from your perspective of this perhaps foreign spirituality that's been cast upon us? Foreign spirituality that came to us came with the concept that human beings are a special manifestation of the creative process that are above and beyond any other aspect of the creation. And so therefore it has a, a special place that is, you might say, a step above or several steps above the rest of creation. It has the, you might say, obligation to be the guide, director, the overseer, the controller of the rest of creation because it is one, it is a step between the creator and the rest of creation. So it holds a very special position in, in between those, those two conditions. The, it, the invading system does not dispute the fact that there, that there was a creator and a creation what it does dispute, or what it does uh, premise, is that there is a special space between those two, and that space is called human beings. Now the native perspective was that there is a creator and a creation, but there is no special place in between that everything that was created is on the same is on the same plane on the same level it is a very very unique space in that it does not put human beings at a at a special place it says human beings are just as much a, an important aspect of creation as trees, as rivers, as, as monkeys, dogs, cats, camels, whatever. We are all part of the creation and the creator does not discriminate as to a higher order of things. In other words, the, the uh, native view is that the creator loves all of its creation equally and laments the the destruction of any any aspect of it and does not really care to have one part of it rise above another part because the creation was a holistic was a holistic thing it was all supposed to work in symbiosis in harmony and that if any one part got out of kilter too far too far one way or the other, the rest of it would have to make changes in order to compensate. Whereas the other system says, no, we this special group can, can manipulate things to their to their to their benefit and whatever, you know, whatever happens to the rest, well that's that's just too bad because there's a there's a higher order of priority for this special group of of beings, and that is the, the human beings. The detriment from that worldview is, and we're seeing it now very, very clearly, is because the human beings have not respected the fact that they are just another part of the creation, they have manipulated the rest of creation to their advantage at a to a to a perilous situation. They said, well we can we can burn we can burn trees till there's no more trees. We can take water and use it till there's no more water. We can, well, this is causing a situation now where the air is so dirty 
that if you breathe it, it detri it's detrimental to your health. The water is so dirty that it is a detriment to your health. The resources now are beginning to dwindle and diminish to the point now where the that other worldview is saying, gee, maybe we need to move to another planet. Well, no, that was not the intention. The intention was you were supposed to be part of the whole process and you were supposed to work in consort with whatever was on this planet and everything else that was created to the point where it would be a functional a functional whole. It would be a symbiotic relationship that would continue that would continue to grow uh, in harmony. And so everything that was needed to keep it working perfectly was be there. If you need, if you uh, took too many of this, well then something else would have to happen. And the whole thing was supposed to work in harmony. Well, in a situation where you understand that you are not a special case, you would get, you would get this. Because you say, oh, I'm not a special case. I don't have the right to deprive the rest of the creation, i.e. extinct species, uh, destroy forests. Uh, you know, I don't have the right to do that because, after all, they have the same rights. It has the same rights as, as I do because we are one. I hope you enjoyed this interview. I know that it was an incredibly interesting experience for me, and I hope that at least some of you shared some of that interest. As always, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons or consider becoming a patron uh, for our channel or a donor to the Medical Cannabis Research Fund where we are fighting every single day to bring you objective, relevant information that you could use to make informed medical decisions that you could use to maybe even expand your consciousness. We're doing it here. We're working for you at the Medical Cannabis Research Fund because together we are changing the world.